death in macular translocation surgery at the IPEN Foundation in Goiânia, Brazil, we start the case with a core vitrectomy for a postoperative retinal detachment after vitrectomy had his uh, PVR all over 360 degrees and then we start with the uh, retinotomy 360 as you see the uh, macula has this uh, hole involving the foveal area the retina is uh, whitish and you've got some new holes over there and we gotta relieve the retina from all tractions around uh, the periphery we are cutting very high speed cutter here grabbing uh, the retina, the, the peripheral retina without causing any damage avoiding vessels to avoid the bleeding or any leak and you see a uh, very shortened retina we are trying to perform this uh, sub-retina work right now and uh, trying to get the retina more mobile and prepared for the attachment as you see you gotta see you gotta take a very good look at the retina periphery and the underneath the retina as well and trim its edges as much as possible to make it mobile and have a very good laser take afterwards so we fold the retina on itself and we perform this maneuver several times to see whether the edges are just sitting on the retina we do these uh, movements very gentle movements and uh, at this time we could uh, move the uh, retina upwards and downwards and we are now trimming a little more because you wouldn't uh, sit on the retina or, or the I mean on the choroid if you don't relieve the tractions and uh, actually the uh, memory for the PVR avoiding the retina to attach so we trim as much as possible the retina periphery as you see taking care and avoiding uh, the vessels you might see some leak some bleeding but you control that with the IOP rays the IOP control and now the retina is almost fully prepared so we have this wide angle view now some uh, leaking over there but uh, it stops and fades uh, very fast we, we keep moving the retina in other directions trying to get rid of the RPE cells as you see this is an inverted vitrectomy you see the instruments up and then now you see them down you put the retina back to the original original position and now we are able to insert the PFO and after inserting the PFO the retina attaches but it moves upwards you can see it moving upward and with a gentle movement from the cannula we move it downwards and we place the retina where we want to avoid getting the same uh, defects on the macular area or the foveal center trying to dislocate it downwards without causing damage very gentle movements you can either do that with a cannula or with a laser tip as you are gonna see soon so after we placed the retina where we want it to be we start with the endo laser with the filter right now we do it 360 degrees we cross and go around the periphery all over to get the retina attached maybe one or two rows we decided to do two rows and not uh, so much trying uh, the lasers uh, to be uh, one spot apart from each other and uh, we insert and actually we exchange 
PFO for silicon oil in a direct fashion. And uh, you see no slippage. The retina is fully attached. Then you will grab the uh, oil drops from the retina periphery as well. And uh, we don't leave the eye with uh, any PFO actually. See the last drop has been taken. Some silicone oil might have come for, uh, to the uh, anterior segment. We just remove it. You see the pupil is small, but uh, even though the pupil is small, you gotta you have a very good view from the posterior pole. Thank you very much.